Hello and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to show you how to test your common relays for the basic refrigerators. This is a start device kit. It comes with multiple types of relays. It kind of goes over all major brands like LG, Whirlpool, Kenmore, and other common brands. So there are two different types of relays and there's an overload. One of the relays are kind of combined together with the relay and the overload. And then you have the relay by itself, which is mostly commonly used for Samsung. So let me show you exactly how they're tested. So this is the one that's combined to the white one. And the black one I have here is actually one that I replaced already because it was defective. So you, when you have your multimeter, you want to set it on the ohms settings. So how it works is when you press or touch the two prongs together, you'll have continuity. When you take them off, you have open line. So that's basically how it works when you have a circuit. If the circuit is open, power cannot transfer through and your compressor will not start. So this is a bad relay. This is one I already replaced, but this is a bad one, so it's a great example. So place your red and your black prong in these two holes and you should read like 0 0.4 but as you can see here it's open line so that's a bad relay. This is a good one, this is a brand new one so we'll put them back in the two holes and as you can see we're reading 4.9 so showing continuity we do have a good relay. So this is a different type of relay uh, you kind of test it the same way, but you go to your left and your right prong, and you should read like 4.5, 4.9. If you read open line, that's also a bad relay. Or if you shake it and it makes a lot of noise, it's a bad relay. But it's best to test it with a multimeter. And this is your overload. This is where the main common power comes in to start the compressor. Um, they usually never ever go bad, but if you want to test it, you put your multimeter in the top pin and then the back pin. Well, not pin, but it's, uh, there we go, right there. So as you can see, it should be like 0 0.4, 0 0.7. If it's open line, that's a bad overload start device, as you would call it. So I will leave these in description below the different two types of relays or if you just want to buy the kit. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Thank you for watching.